Hey guys, today I want to show you a very specific effect from Boris FX Continuum collection of effects. It is called Beauty Studio. Boris wanted me to talk to you about this today. And I have to say I'm on board with Boris's idea because I think this one effect could actually make you money if you do client work like I do. Now, you can probably guess that Beauty Studio is a skin smoothing effect, but what makes this one special and different from others is that it makes your clients look look flawless, but also very realistic. And it incorporates mocha tracking, which if you don't know what that means, you're about to see because it's awesome. Beauty Studio is part of the Beauty Essentials Unit. It's a non-subscription pack of over a dozen beauty effects for Final Cut Pro. I'll link to it down below. YouTube tells me that my audience on this channel is very heavily male. I think 96% of you guys are male. And so I am here to bring you the message as a woman that if you work with female clients, they want this effect on them, but they might be too shy to ask for it. You know, if you can make your clients look amazing on camera, they will keep coming back to you over and over again, because whether they admit it or not, that's very important to them. It starts in the makeup chair and then it goes into lighting, but then the rest of the work really is done here in editing. And if you're not going that extra mile for your clients, especially your female clients, I promise you, you're leaving money on the table because they will find someone else who makes them look great. Now, they might not know that you're filtering them and I wouldn't tell them, just let them think they look this great on camera. It's kind of like, Fight Club, right? Like nobody talks about it, but everyone wants to be a part of it. Now the shot we're going to be working with today is this shot. And I picked this shot for a very specific reason. Obviously this woman has a lot of freckles on her skin, but not only that, her skin tone is very similar to the color of her shirt and the bricks in the background of this shot. This is really going to highlight for you how amazing the mocha tracking is from Boris FX. Now, I just want to say here, I'm a big fan of freckles, but I love this example because I'm going to show you how dramatically you can even out someone's skin tone or how you can pull back that evening to keep the shot looking realistic and maybe just lessen the look of these freckles. So I'm just going to double click the Beauty Studio effect to apply it to my clip. And right away, you can see that we're already starting to get some improvement. Let me disable that effect so you can see the difference, but you'll notice when I enable it that we're getting some blurring on her shirt and on that brick background. Let me show you one more time. Here it is disabled and here it is on. Now, I'm not gonna worry quite yet about the background. I really just am gonna start by focusing on her face. And what I wanna do is twirl down on the matte section of this effect and you can see I've got two opportunities to color pick from this image. Again, this is different from just using the singular color mask on any effect. Because there's two options here, I can really account for the variation in tones in someone's skin. This is very unique. So what I'm going to do is make my first color selection. Let's go like kind of here on her forehead where it's really more light. And for color B, I'm going to pick like the shadows of her cheekbone, like way back here. Now let's move up to the smoothing section. And you can see if I dial up that master amount, if I really wanted to, I could make her freckles completely disappear. Or I could be a little more subtle and I can bring back some of the smallest details and the small details. So I can bring back some of her freckles if I wanted to. And we can always come back and fine tune. I'm going to head back down to the matte section and dial down that Luma softness just a little bit. And I'm going to dial up that hue softness just a hair as well. All right, again, I'm going to disable the effect so I can see how far I've come with my correction. And it really shows me how much I've affected that brick background and her shirt. Now let me show you how I can isolate just her skin so we're only affecting the parts of this shot we want to affect. Let's click on the Mocha Mask button. And I'm going to cue up my playhead to later in the shot where her forehead is entirely in frame here. And then I'm gonna grab the magnetic selection tool. This is the one here with the magnet and the icon. And watch this, if you've never seen this from Mocha, it's really great. I'm gonna start at her hairline and I'm just gonna start selecting around her face. And you can see really right here along her shirt 
the magnetic selection tool in action. I'm not doing anything. It's just detecting the difference between the color of her shirt and her skin. I'm just gonna keep going up around her hairline until we close the shape. And I'm going to track forward by just hitting this forward arrow and waiting for the magic to happen. We're getting a little bit of drift, but I'm not worried about that. I can fix that real quick in a second. And once that's done, I'm gonna cue up my playhead again. This green marker indicates where I started and where I made my track. And now I'm going to track backward. All right, the track is done. I'm just gonna run my playhead through my shot and anywhere I'm seeing a lot of drift, like let's say right here, I'm just gonna lasso drag to select all of these points and I'm going to move them in unison back where I want them. I'm also gonna readjust the neck as well. And again, scrubbing, scrubbing, scrubbing. Yep, a little more drift. Again, lasso drag and just reposition. And you'll notice that when I move those points, I get fresh indicators down in my timeline, but they're also not messing up my track. I don't need to retrack this. And remember, it's also going to use those two color masks as well. So you don't have to be super, super picky with this either. The other thing I wanna do is subtract her eyes and her lips from this mask. So I'm going to head up to this tool and drop down until I get the X plus spline tool. And I'm just gonna really quickly select this eye Grab that tool again. I'm gonna select this eye, a little more challenging. And I'm going to select her mouth as well because I really do wanna preserve the details around her mouth. And I don't have to retrack. All of those new selections are gonna track right with the mask that I've already created. And then just to save this work, I hit this button at the top left of the pop-up window and I can close right out of it. And now instantly you just saw how my bricks have come back into clear focus but her skin, her eyes, and her lips are also crystal clear while her skin tone looks super even. Now you can see a little bit, let's say around her mouth, a bit of a harsh line here. What I'm going to do is twirl down on the pixel chooser mocha section. I'm gonna twirl down on the mask and let's just pump up the feather a hair. If I wanna see what this mask looks like at this point, I can just check this box and you can see it is isolating all her skin and subtracting her eyes and lips. We can see how feathered we're getting. Definitely don't wanna be that feathered. I'm just gonna do a very slight feather here. And now her skin looks really realistic, especially because everything else is still very sharp looking. If I wanted to bring back some of her freckles, I could just dial down the master amount a little bit and let's do a quick before and after. I mean, what a transformation. So like I said, going this extra mile for your clients will keep them coming back to you. They might not know what you're doing that makes them look so good, but they're definitely going to appreciate it. If you wanna check out Beauty Studio for yourself, I'll link to it down below. I'll also link to another video I did about Boris's Continuum, which has a lot of amazing features you should definitely check out. You guys, thanks so much for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again.